Good afternoon, good evening, and good night, everybody. Welcome to The Cinema Time, and today I am super excited because we have a very special video. I'm going to be unboxing the Friday the 13th Collection box set from Screen Factory. Now, it came out today, October 13th. A lot of you would have gotten yours early since you ordered off Screen Factory's website. I, however, ordered off of Amazon, and you can now get this off Amazon, I think Sunrise Records, maybe Best Buy, a bunch of other locations. This is amazing to look at, so let's get right into it. Here is the artwork, which is absolutely fantastic. It goes all the way to the side here as well. We've got all these cool Jasons. Here is all the stuff for it, which here I can bring up to the camera if you really want to read. we got all the new scans, booklets, and all the ratings and stuff. Right on the top here, we have Jason Voorhees' iconic mask, which he starts donning after the third film. All of this. Oh, boy. I... I, I debated getting it off Scream Factory since it came with a poster and also a lithograph, but I decided to, you know, save a few extra dollars and buy this version. Now, the main reason I am getting this is because I really wanted part three in some genuine good 3D. Because if the film is meant to be watched in 3D, I'll watch it in 3D because what the hell. And if you want to check out my review of all of these films, I will be posting them on my letterbox, which will be down in the description. Now, let's open this sexy bad boy. Since I want to have the artwork all the way around, I'm actually going to be taking this off. I know some of you keep yours on, some of you don't. All right, I probably should have kept it on. I, I wrecked a bit of the box. Um, but here we have the rest of the artwork here. We've got Jason from Part 2 and Zombie... Ver oh, God, I'm, I'm sorry. That looks awesome. But let's get into every single one of these individually. Here it is, the one that started them all, Friday the 13th, with the original artwork. And I absolutely love this artwork. It is beautiful. And look at that. Clear Blu-ray cases. Friday the 13th. And on the side, Screen Factory's logo. And here we've got all the stuff if you want to look at it. Oh, there it is, the two discs. we got the uncut version, and we've got the theatrical cut with that artwork. And just like every other Screen Factory, you have reversible artwork. Which, there it is, if you guys want to see it. Don't know where that one's from, but that is still pretty cool. Because I love to, actually, what I do with my other Scream Factories is... Uh, here, I'll just grab one. Here's Night of the Creeps. I keep the box art different than the um, inside artwork. I usually reverse it and keep that one. So, there we go. I will probably do the same with a few of these, but I absolutely love this artwork. It's I'm going to get a poster of it. Like It's just so beautiful. And yeah, I don't know if I already said it before, but this box is a lot smaller than I thought. I knew it was going to be a small box, but wow, I, I just didn't honestly see this coming. Part two. Now, even though I said that I absolutely love the cover for that one, this is my favorite Friday the 13th cover. I think it is just so simple, but it gets straight to the point. It's awesome. Another one I'm actually going to get a frame for. Friday the 13th part two, Screen Factory on the side, the axe. And here we go. Here are all these special features and stuff. All of these have a new 4K scans from camera negatives, which I think is absolutely awesome. So there we go. There's the cover. And wow. There we go. Friday the 13th Part 2. Uh, that's pretty neat. But honestly, Friday the 13th Part 2 was a decent one. I thought it didn't really know what it wanted to be much. So I didn't think it was the best one. But, you know, it was still pretty all right. I love these clear cases. They don't say Blu-ray on them, which is a little... Strange, but, you know, I don't mind. It does say on the side. There it is. Here we are. The main reason I really wanted this box set. A new 3D version. A new dimension in terror. Friday the 13th, part 3, 3D. That's three different threes on here. There we are. Awesome. Here it is. Donning the iconic hockey mask for the first time. New 3D transfer. Woo! Here it is. Special features unrated. Let me open this up. We got the box art right there. And here is the reversible cover. Wow. Here we are, Friday the 13th, the final chapter. Clearly the final chapter. Uh, awesome artwork again. It feels like an NES game. Like Honestly, since all these don't say Blu-ray plus digital copy, which, you know, Screen Factors don't do digital copies, but they don't say Blu-ray digital copy, like, for instance, let me just grab War of the Planet of the Apes or something. They don't say stuff on there, so it just looks... It's a very unique looking Blu-ray, and that's what I love about it so far. Here we go, the artwork on the side. Here we go. What the hell is happening here? 
I'm gonna be honest, I also bought this because I really wanted to watch all the Friday the 13th. I'd only seen part one, two, and three, but I'm gonna rewatch three in 3D soon. And all of these, I, I can't wait. Like I said, check out my letterbox. I will be reviewing them. Open that up. The discard here, right there. Don't like this one as much. That looks a little cool, even though I don't know what that is. I'll be opening here, Friday the 13th, the final chapter. Three times before you have felt the terror, known the madness, lived the horror, but this is the one you've been screaming for. Sure thing. First, I have to say, these all feel amazing. Like, the way they look and feel is awesome. I absolutely love the packaging for this. I think it's really nice, and I would definitely recommend it for someone who wants to get into all the Friday the 13th films, since, if you don't know, this is the first time in a really long time that we have all of them together. Initially, they didn't come with Jason Goes to Hell and Jason X, if you bought the 8-pack that you can find usually at Walmart for like 10 bucks now. Uh, Freddy vs. Jason and the new Friday the 13th are also in the box set for the first time, so it is fantastic. Up next is Friday the 13th Part 5, A New Beginning. If Jason still haunts you, you're not alone. Down the side. Here we go. Open it up right here. We've got... There we go, same artwork up there. And the reversible artwork, Jason Still Haunts You, part five. There it is, the first one I decided to actually reverse and keep this cover instead. Don't ask me why, but I did. Part six, Jason Lives, Kill or Be Killed. This one I've actually heard quite a bit of good things about, so excited to see it. That looks freaking awesome, I don't know about you. And here we got that. Wow, this just went all out differently. We got a full thing for it. Friday the 13th, part seven, the new blood. On Friday the 13th, Jason is back, but this time someone's waiting. Here we go. Doesn't look like anything new on this one, but it's still nice to have all the special features together. There's the cover. Oh, that is a nice cover. Great photo. Definitely not going to use that as the reverse artwork, though. So I think what it looks like, they're going to be stopping having reverse artwork after New Beginning. Actually, did Jason Lives have any? No, it did have some new commentary instead of on it, so I don't know if it's if they're going to keep the artwork on because they have new features, or... I don't know. Let's continue. Friday the 13th, Part 8, Jason Takes Manhattan. I'm pretty excited to see this one, too. I played a Friday the 13th game, and this was fairly prominent in it. Looks nice. Nothing new about this one. And there's the background. I won't take it out, because you can see it there. Friday the 13th, part 6, Jason Takes My Hand. I honestly realized I could probably just take the discs out instead and show you the artwork, but... There we go. Really nice. Here we go! Finally, for the first time in many years, we have... Jason goes to hell in a Friday the 13th collection. Evil has finally found a home, the final Friday, which it is not. That is some cool artwork. Both the unrated and theatrical versions, so I'm assuming we have two discs for this one. Yep, there we go. Ooh, we actually have different artwork. Huh. Huh. It's the exact same for the cover, apparently, but the reverse side is different. Okay. This one also has a new 2K scan rather than 4K. I'm not going to get into the specifics about all of these, because you can probably find this somewhere else and also explain to you a whole lot better than I probably can. Man, I have seen a scene from the... That's a weird thing to say, but I watched a clip from this film and this just looks ridiculous. Jason X, Evil Gets an Upgrade. Oh my god. New interviews, though. That's nice. Here is the disc. So it looks the same where it just has different uh, back artwork, but I don't really need to change it, to be honest. Really excited they included Freddy vs. Jason. I just bought all the Nightmare on Elm Street films, and I'm currently binge-watching them, so really happy to see this in the set so I can end up watching that at some point. There we go. Looking really nice. Open it up here. Oh! It is not a Scream Factory disc. It is just a regular disc. So that means, yeah, nothing is new. Uh, oh, so we have different artwork. Too. We have Freddy vs. Jason, like, right head-to-head -head there. That seems we have 
Freddy versus Jason. That is pretty funny. I think I'll actually keep this reverse artwork. See, like, this just doesn't look like a traditional Blu-ray, and it's really nice. I like that. And I don't have the Halloween box set to really show you if it did the same thing, because honestly, if you have that Halloween box set, just sell it. You can get a mortgage on a house or something. That thing is ridiculous prices. Welcome to Crystal Lake. We've got the Friday the 13th remake which has nothing new, so let me assume... Yeah, wow, very lazy on their part to just include this, because, hold on, I'll be right back. Here's my copy of Friday the 13th, The Killer Cut, and there it is. It is the exact same disc. So that is legitimately really lazy on their part, but I guess if you're not going to throw in any extra features or something, why get a new disc? Um, so here we got, let's just check out the cover differences. Yeah, pretty, pretty ugly color cover if you ask me. I never saw the remake yet. I, well, I said I haven't seen most of these yet. But, you know, the remake looks like it would be, you know, a decent time at least. Doesn't look like it'll be great. But that's the thing with all the Friday the 13th movies, honestly. They're not good movies. They're just really fun. Nightmare on Elm Street so far from the ones I've seen is actually pretty good rather than just fun. That looks nice. Friday the 13th collection bonus material. So I guess ones that don't fit on the disc, here they are. Bunch of new features, some other ones that are on here. Two documentaries, beautiful. Bunch of other cool stuff on here. There are two discs. Beauty, beauty I don't know why I'm stuttering there. Um, then we've got here the final scene from the first film. That's cool. I, I wouldn't really want to switch any of the reverse artwork that's like that, mainly because it's, you know, showing it on the sides is not going to look good. And finally up, it looks like we've got the booklet, which I'm not going to go through the entirety of the booklet for you guys. You can just pause if you want. That's my second one. Again, I'm not really going to show you all of this because you could either buy it for yourself or find it somewhere else better. Oh, I skipped a page. Yeah, whatever. Here you go. So all in all, except for, you know, reusing the same discs or something, overall, this is a beautiful, fantastic looking, amazing set. The artwork alone is something to kind of buy it for. It shows all these Jasons. It's really nice. Let's, uh, let's pretend that's not there. But this, this right here, the clear cases, they feel and they look nice. It is a great way to have all the Friday the 13th films in one collection, finally. Because before that, it used to be this uh, big uh, Blu-ray Steelbook tin kind of case that now goes for a couple hundred dollars, which I think it might go for less now after this box set came out. Now, I, we don't need one, but it'd be really cool to get an, a new Nightmare on Elm Street collection. That'd be nice. There's this DVD one that's really cool that has the spine, shows you Freddy Krueger. But honestly, I'm really happy with this. I hope the Halloween one can either get re-released or honestly, I can find it with a cheaper price. But I would definitely recommend this. It's going for $150. And when you have 11, 12, 13, well, 12 movies, a 13th case with documentaries and stuff i think it's definitely well worth it especially to just sit down on your shelf and look at plus these are mostly all new remasters in 4k 2k and of course 3d i think it's definitely worth it so yeah definitely go and find this at a local store if you would like because who knows if it might turns out to be one of the halloween sets you know worth a bunch of money and if you ever need mortgage pay for university or anything you could probably sell one of these but yeah, hope you're all having a great day, staying absolutely safe, and also realizing that I have a slight concussion, so that's why I'm not saying words completely properly and throwing words in front of... You know, I'm just going to finish this video and get some rest. Have a great rest of your day tonight. Goodbye.